In the last 17 years, countless tons of trash, thousands of yards of fishing line, and even parts of aircraft have been removed from Baldwin County beaches. Well, that may not sound surprising. What if we told you it was all done by just one guy? Well, it is, and that's just some of what he's found. Fox News Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick caught up with him and has the rest of his story. It's something Converse Smith, or Connie as his friends call him, does nearly every day. He puts on his hat, grabs some trash bags, and hits the beach. He walks between four and six miles, his eyes scanning the sand for anything out of the ordinary. I don't look for the birds. I don't see the birds. I don't see the dolphins. I scan. And that enables me to pick up all of these things because it's, it's color and glint. The very first thing Smith picked up off the beach was a fishing lure. Over his 17 years of picking up beach trash, Smith has amassed quite a stockpile of fishing items. Thousands of pieces are in his collection, 726 lures alone. That's one of the oldest lures, I believe, that I have found. Uh, I've never seen another one even remotely like it. Clamps for holding on to the, the jaws of fish with teeth. These are box, boxes that the fishermen of Either they drank too much and, and left it on their For Smith, it's become more than a habit. It's a pastime and a rewarding one. He's amazed at the amounts he picks up from the shores of the Bon Secours National Wildlife Refuge and Fort Morgan. He most commonly finds bottle caps, beer cans, and cigarette butts. On a quick walk Thursday, his 82nd birthday, he bagged a number of items. His efforts were noticed and appreciated by the beachgoers there. I'm so impressed that this guy for all these years has been coming by, cleaning the beach. I've never seen a beach this pristine before. I mean, there's nothing on this beach other than sand and things that are supposed to be here. If it's out of place, chances are it won't make it past Smith's eagle eye. Such was the case with a toy truck he found. Found myself a gift, and I'm going to re-gift it back to a, a young boy that I don't know but he'll be happy to find that in the trailer when he comes back out of the house. <laughs> I wondered what other interesting things have turned up over the years. Weather instruments that Noah puts up, they come down someplace. I found three uh, iPhones. The drift card was released in the Gulf of Mexico as part of an experiment to look at current patents by researchers at Texas A&M University. Of all his findings, the fishing lures take Smith back to his youth. I enjoy it. It, it keeps me alive. And Connie Smith was in a giving spirit today on his 82nd birthday. Happy birthday to you. Not only did he find that toy truck that he put on the kid's family's chair to find later, but when I got back to my car, look what I found on the trunk lid. Can you see that? It's a little plastic frog, his last find of the day. He gave it to me, and I think I'll name him Connie. <laughs> Live at Gulf Shores, Al Sherrick, Fox 10 News.